Representative Lamar Smith is the chair of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. He also doesn't think that human-caused global climate change is a real thing, uh, going against the scientific consensus supported by the vast majority of people who are researching the Earth's ever-warming climate. The top industry funding Lamar Smith is the oil and gas industry at a whopping $700,000, followed closely by old people. That's more than 20 times the amount that that industry spends to purchase the average Republican congressional representative to advance their own interests. The Science Committee is holding hearings this week to discuss climate change, and Smith, in line with his oil and gas employers, has stacked the lineup with climate change deniers. He chose three, and the Democrats were allowed to choose the fourth, so they chose Michael Mann, who actually understands the scientific consensus on climate change. That would be like holding a hearing on whether or not cigarettes cause cancer, but having three of your four experts be the CEO of Marlboro, a doctor who has been in a coma since 1960, and your Uncle Jerry, who's been smoking since he was 12, but is pretty sure he doesn't have cancer yet. I list all these things so that you can truly appreciate the fact that today Lamar Smith announced that the journal Science, published by the American Association for the Advancement of Science, or AAAS, is, and I quote, not known as an objective magazine. Lamar Smith wouldn't know an objective source if it fucked him from behind while whispering potential conflicts of interest in his ear. He is literally on the payroll of an industry that, like tobacco companies in the 60s, desperately want to suppress the scientifically proven truth that they are destroying our planet. So essentially, Michael Mann was forced today to stand before a group of grown adult men and explain reality to them, that the overwhelming scientific evidence shows that the Earth is heating up and that human activity is the cause. And in response, he was attacked with ignorant, slanderous, and honestly downright McCarthyist accusations that it's all this giant liberal conspiracy to, well save the planet, I guess? The stated purpose of the climate change session was, according to the committee on Twitter, making scientific debate great again. As with the other Trumpian slogan, feel free to replace the word great with ignorant, and it makes a lot more sense, because the debate over climate change happened years ago, and it was resolved by the evidence. The earth is warming, humans are the cause, and the current U.S. government is going to do nothing about it because, frankly, they'll die before it's an issue for them, and they'd rather die rich than right.